somebody's on. Um, Cook a little jambalaya today. Go cook the pork. Pork with smoked sausage and on duty jambalaya. Started. Here's our sausage and pork meat. We're going to cook our meat down and get it brown. And we'll pull that out. And we'll put our onions and bell peppers and Some garlic nice. and seasoning. We'll get them sweated down. And then we'll continue from there. Somebody said they'd give anything to come and hang and share beer stories and good food. Everybody's invited. I'd love to get together and do a big cooking one day for a bunch of people. I think that'd be pretty neat. I'm gonna throw a little seasoning in there. A little homemade seasoning that I've got. Says I got somebody said I got about 80 pounds of last year's bear meat I'll bring. Hell yeah. We could cook all kind of meals with 80 pounds of bear meat. Somebody just joined in, asked what you were cooking. We're cooking a pork, boss, it's a Boston butt I cut up, some andouille, and some smoked sausage jambalaya. Right now, we're going to get the meat browned and cooked down, and the sausage and the andouille. And we'll pull it out and we'll go with the onions and bell peppers and the garlic and brown that. Good morning, Angel and Rut. Greetings from Brass, Vassville. Good morning. I'm glad y'all could join. I wish y'all were close enough to get a little bit of this jambalaya when it was done. But we're gonna have plenty. They don't make it like that here in El Paso. Ain't from here, just stationed here. I'm ready to get back to Tennessee and hear my roosters crow. Stop by, I'll send you home with two or three. <laughs> Hello from Hot Springs. What kind of wood you using? White oak and red oak. The only other thing I usually ever cook with out here is we do have quite a bit of wild cherry. I do try to save most of it for the smokehouse. 
uh, wild cherry doesn't seem to put as much heat. The coals don't stay lumped up as, as much, but they work real good in the smoker, especially if you cut them green. But out here, I always, always cook with red oak and white oak. Someone said we got a lot of locusts and hickory here in uh, Appalachia. Hope I pronounced that correctly. <laughs> got a lot of what? Locusts and hickory. Yeah, we've got and some hickory. Uh, I do. I do try to gather it up too and keep some for my smokehouse. So that's a backdrop for cooking. Beautiful. I bet the food's just as great. I'm hungry now. Y'all look me up. Like I said, I'd love, I'd love the baby to get get somewhere and do a big cookout for a bunch of people. Maybe one of these days. I'll... <laughs> Tell him, I said that beard grows fast. Chandler man, four four four. <laughs> Yeah, I just got it clean three days ago. It's already grown back. Now that we all know the secret to what makes it grow so fast. Someone just joined in and asked what you're cooking. We're doing pork with smoked sausage and andouille jambalaya. Right now we're just gonna get the meat cooked down. Uh, you know, if y'all if y'all message me or comment on here or something, let me give me some ideas of what y'all would like me to cook in the coming weeks. Uh, I've got to put this on. My wife made me this. Put the apron on. Usually, when I cook, a lot of people will always ask me what the fuck that is. So, first time seeing you and I already love it. Can't wait to look through your comment, your content. One thing, it's all in fun. Uh, you know, one of the things when I got on this app, I, I, I spent more time looking at other people's content and just laughing and enjoying it. And then my family decided that it'd be a good idea for me to get a TikTok and just act normal. <coughs> and uh, that's kind of what I've done. I've learned though TikTok don't like you to act too normal because when I do act normal on some videos, they go ahead and delete them. So. I guess you gotta be careful in that sense. But it's all just the way I really feel or the way I really see things. Hadn't seen this kind of cooking in 40 years. Well, again, I'd love to do it. Don't get that there going. Uh, no lid I made for this pot. No black walnut.
Yeah, I'd, lo I'd love to be able to get out. And, you know, even if it was with several other people, do a bunch of cookouts and cooking. And especially in this manner where you just do it with fire, you know, with wood. Uh, I don't think a lot of people do it anymore. It's something I love to do. And my wife and I, we do it pretty regularly. Of course, TikTok is just kind of open the window for us to be able to do it and show some people. Okay. I'll never forget the spread you did for us in Pennsylvania with the McGregor and Mayf Mayweather fight. Oh. Yeah, we had, that was a good that was a good time then. I've cooked, I believe I've cooked in just about every state I've been to, and I always try to cook this way. And I've done a lot of meals this way. I've done a lot of breakfasts this way. Uh, these old cast iron pots, I think we own probably 25 or 30 at least. We've got several old Dutch ovens. That, that little rooster. Yeah. We've got a little rooster that hasn't found his voice yet. Okay, we're still trying to figure out who you are from Bassfield. What's your real name? My Cajun brother from another mother. What's on the menu? Pork with some smoked sausage and all do it. Gumbo. I mean, shit, jambalaya. Got me all thinking about doing a damn gumbo now. Jambalaya, pork, pork meat, smoked sausage, and andouille. And if you're from South Louisiana, it's not andouille sausage. It's just andouille. Wish I was there sitting, talking, drinking beer with y'all. Damn, I miss those times. We still here. Like I said, anybody's invited. Leslie Johnson. Oh, Leslie. I mean, it has been a couple of... I showed up just before you drug up. Shivers got me up there. <laughs> I remember Leslie. Yeah, it's been a while. Been doing all right, Leslie? You ain't, you still chasing them old pipelines? Oh man, I'm going to need to take a road trip. Dispatch, show me en route to this lo that location. I came from the jump, came for the jambalaya. I love, love Jambalaya. Hello from North Carolina. Good morning, everybody. We ain't made it to noon yet, I don't think. It's noon on the East Coast, I'm sure. And we're going to get this thing going sooner or later. We'll get the meat cooked down where we want it. He said he's doing great. He said that was his first and last pipeline. 
He's working in Bassfield now. Well, there ain't nothing wrong with that. Warm out here today. So, we had any suggestions on what to cook next? Or maybe where to cook it? Or how many we need to cook it for? Joe said he's on his way. Come on. Come on, Joe, you're just down the road. I know where you at. Come on, we're gonna have jambalaya here in about another two hours. We're gonna eat and drink beer. If you're in driving distance and you ain't here, it's your own damn fault. What season are you using? Well, the season I use is basically just everything you buy over the counter, but it's just a bunch of mixtures I put together. Uh, I mean, garlic, salt, salt, pepper, cayenne, parsley. Uh, uh, shit, I, would, I couldn't even name them all. I, I just, uh, something I come up with and mix together and, you know, salt, pepper. I think seasoning is one of those things everybody's just got a season to their liking. Living in Louisiana, that just means to put a lot of seasoning. Somebody said to make chicken stock. Make chicken stock? Yeah. We make chicken stock, we're gonna probably make a gumbo. That you can. A lot of times that we've got a bunch of chicken stock, I'll use it jambalaya or something in the place of water. When you said that you had chicken stock in place of water sometime, he goes, Yes, exactly. Now when I do a chicken, if I do a The chicken, guy that's saying all this, he says, I, I really am a personal chef. If I do a, a chicken jambalaya, then I do boil my chicken, which some people might frown upon. And I make a chicken, my chicken stock, and then I'll brown my meat and then my my onions and bell peppers and garlic and whatever else you want, parsley, whatever. And then I'll use my, my broth in the place of water when I go back and put the rice. Uh, and that definitely is the way to do it if you're doing a chicken jambalaya. Yeah, you doing sausage and shrimp? No, we're doing a Boston butt, a pork Boston butt with smoked sausage and on do it. Jambalaya.
He said that's a great combo. Uh -huh. Somebody asked, how long y'all been together? That is what it's all about. Y'all living better than Beyonce and Jay-Z. Well, we've been married over 27 years. Be 28 years this year. No. Yeah. 27. I would be 27 this yeah. year. Yeah. <laughs> At least I didn't get it wrong about that much. Cook them turkeys too. Yeah, it won't be long. We've got two of them running around here. Christmas and New Year is what I named them because that's, that's when it's going to happen for them. They'll end up in that smokehouse back there. A couple of people said congrats to us. Anyway. I said a couple of people said congrats. Well, thank you. It's, I sure I ain't the one to give you get married advice. Now you say this. You just both got to give and take. Where are you guys at? That's some beautiful countryside. We're actually in North Arkansas. Uh, I get, man, I get a lot of questions about where I'm at, where I live, where I'm from. I was born and raised in Louisiana. And my wife and I moved here about five years ago. Uh, we, we traveled all over the United States and we came across this piece of property just driving by and we ended up buying it. And a year later, we ended up moving over here. And uh, we've been here about five years. We're, we're up in the Ozark Mountains. Uh, we're probably, what, 40 minutes, 35 minutes from Branson, Missouri. We're not, not far from the Missouri line. But originally, I'm from central Louisiana. I was born and raised right around the Chafalaya Basin. LOL, he does all the cooking. I do all, I don't do all the cooking. My wife, she, she's a damn good cook too. Uh, but if any chance I get to cook, I do cook. I mean, I've, I've never cooked for a living, that's for sure. But I do love to cook. Probably one of my favorite things to do is, is to cook. And I apologize, we're not, we're not able to move to, move around too much because we're out in the middle of nowhere and we're liable to lose. Cajun lose Nation. Huh? Somebody said Cajun Nation. Yeah, one of these days, maybe I can gather up enough and maybe get out somewhere and <laughs> do, do a cookout. Somebody said they sent the crawfish video to his uh, Mississippi buddy. He blamed Alabama. <laughs> well, I seen one person got a little upset in the comments. He, he said that's what was wrong with TikTok. We made fun of people. You know, not none of this is, is done intentionally to make fun of people. It's all just done in, <laughs> in humor. Uh, I kind of, when I made the video, I kind of figured instantly somebody would stitch it and pass it off to Alabama or Texas or something, even Arkansas, and then somebody else would stitch it and just keep going, but that hadn't happened. Somebody said, uh, do you make moonshine popcorn? It's legal to make now, ain't it? At least I hope it is. You do you do you speak Creole and all? I, not fluently. I, I'm not gonna get on here and say I speak fluent 
Creole or French, because I'll have somebody that's gonna come back and they'll know way more than me. And my, my mom and my dad both spoke French. Uh, my grandmother passed away at 93. She, she barely could still speak English. She spoke French. Where's my invite? Somebody T Burns. <laughs> Somebody said don't blame Texas. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I thought it was just funny because you could have people cook things a, a thousand different ways and somebody's going to gonna say it's wrong either way you do it. What state are you in? Right now we're in Arkansas. North Arkansas. Looks like I got a chicken trying to steal my Jeep. Big bit, what are you doing? Get out of there. Somebody said here, uh, hello from the French Polynesia Bora Bora. Damn, hello. Maybe you can you probably raised the IQ of Arkansas just crossing the state line. <laughs> oh, that just made my day. Well, I'm going to tell you, we moved here. We loved the, the scenery. We loved the land. The landscape is beautiful here. Uh, of course, we live out in the woods, so I do love to hunt and fish. We've got several big lakes within two, three miles of, of our place. So we, we do a lot of fishing. We do hunt. We've got, you know, deer and turkeys and squirrels and rabbits and black bear. And it says, awesome, you two keep up your living. God bless and be safe from the Navajo Nation. What's the chicken's name, Monday or Wednesday? <laughs> that chicken there is actually Big Bit, the one that just passed by here. And uh, she, she probably, want, her and one other one, the only two that's probably safe is never getting eaten. They're kind of the two I've taken in as pets, not the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs> if a native Arkansas couple divorced, are they still siblings? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so freaking funny. See, now I gotta be careful with all that. I'm liable to run into somebody that lives here if I leave the woods. And nowadays, you know damn well if I got TikTok, everybody got TikTok. Somebody put, we miss pipelining with y'all. Damn white Yankee. I don't know who that is. You cooking a turtle? Just saw that video. God bless you guys. Cherokee here. Woo, I tell you what, man. You talk about it. That old turtle that had that ball by the neck. I'd have got my hands on that thing. Now. I would be cooking it. <laughs> That's some good eating right there. Mm -hmm. God damn, it's hotter than a well digger's ass out here today. You seem like great people. Y'all keep spreading this. Thank you. Thank you. My family left Arkansas in the 40s to Chicago. Well, half of Chicago, I think, done moved down to Mountain Home. Yeah, half of them moved back. The other half come from New York. Well, they got people who live here that think Taco Bell's real Mexican food. <laughs> what well, did you say it was hotter than? well diggers ass and that's hot because you weigh it down with ain't no air uh -oh. 
Here, you want to talk to him? Damn hollow sound. I'll go get you one. If they're not moving, you lose service in these fucking woods. Better stay between that limb and that limb. I need, need to buy a slate call from you. Send y'all, if you send me a message, uh, all my calls, uh, all my calls are made to order. I don't make, you know, I, I mean, we do, we do so much other stuff as far as sawmills and building, building, you know, whatever out of wood. Uh, I don't, I don't really build a bunch of calls and just stock them up, so. Normal when I get somebody that messages or orders one, however, you know, I'll usually go ahead and make it right then. <clears throat> so, anybody that's interested in a turkey call or a, a duck call, uh, yeah, just message me and let me know. It, it, it may take me, you know, a week to get it out to you, depending on what else I've got going on. But uh, we'll definitely get it out to you. Where y'all out of? We're out of North Arkansas. We're, uh, we're, I guess the closest little town to us would be around Yaleville, Arkansas. Uh, we're probably 35 minutes or so from Mountain Home, about 35 minutes to Branson, Missouri. None of the foxes got to your chickens? Where's our chicken dog? Oh, that's at? usually my winter hobby. Keep the fox and coyotes and raccoons down. Uh, Hold the front door. Taco Bell is it Mexican food? <laughs> I should have went to Jared. Yeah, I don't even. I don't even. I can't. I can't understand eating none of no kind of fast food. It, it, the only thing fast about it is how fast it so much it go through you. <laughs> but I get it. Not everybody. Uh, she said, "Where is Arkansas in the United States? Southeast." Where is Arkansas? Well, boy, I ain't worried about that one coming in and getting me. Arkansas would be right above Louisiana. Uh. Right on the side of Oklahoma, right underneath Missouri, and far fucking away from New York. Shit fire fuzzy. That was not true about Taco Bell. Say it ain't so. The what? <laughs> Shit fire fuzzy. That was not true about Taco Bell. Say it ain't so. <laughs> Hell, then a while back, a poll come out and they said Taco Bell was number one Mexican restaurant. <laughs> That's some confused son of bitches. No Bigfoot sightings yet? I think I've had a glimpse of a Sasquatch a couple of times, but not to worry about yet. I don't worry about too much out here. We welcome just about anything that wants to come. All right. We about got this where we want it. So take this. I'll answer this one for you. It says I'm taking my family to New Orleans. Family friendly things to do. Uh the they have the aquarium, the French market. Uh, the zoo, they got a couple other areas down there. Just French Quarter's okay during the day, but at night they may see something. Yeah, how old are your kids, first off? 
Are you not going to get that man a beer? I try to tell him to hold the phone and I'll do hey, it. You answer that question. I'll go get a beer because I got to grab a damn spoon. Aggie land. Oh, Lord. We could do it out then. They need to get out of the SEC. Uh, we have 40 acres. He's cooking up good grub while the lady that wants to eat it don't grab a beer. What's wrong <laughs> with you? Well, I'm going to tell you, after 27 years, she makes a hell of a pie tri uh, pie, blah, blah, tripod holding that damn phone to video. That's my camera woman. Are you willing to sell two acres? No, but I'd be willing to find you two acres close by. And you'd be surprised what land sells for around here. It really ain't that bad. That makes Southerners up north miss back home down south. Yeah, I don't, you know, being from Louisiana, it's the biggest or the hardest thing we have to deal with is, is that turtle seafood. You know, not being able to get fresh seafood. You need a bigger spoon. Yeah, no shit. That's what I said. I couldn't have got a damn smaller spoon. I guess I'll have to build me one. I'll build me a damn spoon that I'll be able to... All right, here we go. I'll put this here, cover that up. Like that. Can you see my comments? Uh, We're gonna that's add a, a lot of food. I'm going to add a little bit of water in here. What are you using the land for? To live. Someone that just joined in asked what you're cooking. We're cooking a jambalaya pork with smoked sausage. And on do it. Yum alive. Put a little water in here just to kind of break this up so it don't burn. You leave it stuck there long enough. When you put your onions in there, it'll just burn the bottom of the pot. Somebody said they live in Ohio, but they're from Texas. They moved to Ohio for the fishing. We moved we moved here basically for the land, the landscape, the ability to hunt. And live off the land, grow a garden, grow our food, uh, and just do this right here. Do you wash your cast iron or just wipe it down? I wash it with hot water, uh, no soap. Just hot water, and I'll, I'll give it a little bit of a scrubbing. And then I'll put it back on the fire, get it hot, get all the moisture out of it, and then I'll wipe it down uh, with some oil, with oil, with usually just vegetable oil. Um, where do y'all live, and what state? North Arkansas, about we're about thirty minutes from the Missouri state line. Don't know what you're cooking, but it looks good. Pork jambalaya. We're going to get these onions and bell peppers and garlic sweated down. Uh, move 
put some of this wood around a little bit. Get it going again. I'm going to have some coals in a little while. Somebody said they've uh, seasoned theirs with flaxseed oil, higher smoke point. Yeah, I mean, there's, if, if you're going to you're going to use it pretty often. Uh, you know, regular vegetable works. I find works just as good. <laughs> if you if you don't use them very often, then of course vegetable will get rancid. It'll get kind of sticky and thick. You gotta almost scrub your pot back out to get it off. Is that a fighting rooster in the background? Get a shot of that I think that's the one he's talking about. I'm from Ireland. Hello, oh hi from Ireland. Hello. If a black person wanted to eat with y'all, would it be okay? Hell yeah. yeah. Hell Come. yeah. Wait. We all get hungry. I've get gotten on TikTok and yeah, I see I see a lot of things on there and you know I see a lot of I see a lot of black people and I see a lot of white people I ask questions about you know can we get along? Can we? I I I still in a sense I don't really. I mean, I get, I get the whole thing that you know people have not gotten along in the past, and you know, I guess the country living and the city living is is a lot different. Uh, mo most everybody that was grow was raised in the south or raised out in the country uh, is actually a lot different, a lot different than you would think. You know, I, I, you know, I don't know. It's kind of one of those things where I try to stay out of it, as far as on social media. But me personally, I don't, I don't give a shit. Uh, I don't see color. I see kindness and I see assholes, and they come in all colors. So, yeah. Hell, you close by. Come on right now. We'll get out here and finish cooking this gumbo. We'll drink cold beer. Maybe a little shine. And then we'll eat fucking jambalaya. And if you got a long drive, you can just stay spending the night. I think the only people people ought to hate are the people that hate them. And then, I wouldn't even say hate them, maybe just show them a little love. They may come around. And too much of that these days. Reminds me of killing hogs, cooking out lard, and love me some cracklings with cornbread. Woo! Boy, I tell you. No. I'll bring the pecan pies. We in North Arkansas, and the one thing I, I say is, when they when they butcher a hog, when they kill a hog around here, they just skin it and throw the skin away, which chaps my ass. No, we don't fight roosters; we raise them. No, we don't fight them. The motherfuckers, there's so many of them now. They fight each other all over here, chasing the damn hens. Anybody out there need some roosters, come on over and get some jambalaya and go home with a couple of roosters. I think we've got, what, about eight running around? Yeah. What's the shine like? What's the shine like? Liquid corn. Smooth as Tennessee whiskey. Young fellow, young fellow, what's cooking? A couple people asking, uh, where we live at. 
We live in the Ozark Mountains in North Arkansas. We're, we're both originally from Louisiana. Uh, and when I say Louisiana, I don't mean Monroe or Shreveport. We're both, both originally from around the Atchafalaya Basin area. And we, we moved up here and got us a little piece of heaven to just get out in the woods and live, enjoy life. Have the wild hogs taken over? They are bad in North Texas. No, you know, when, I, when we bought this place, all my life I've heard, you know, Arkansas Razorbacks and, you know, the hogs. And I know some areas that the hogs are bad. Uh, believe it or not, we've been here five years, and I've not had one hog on my place as far as a wild hog in five years. Uh, now, they they do hunt and kill some wild hogs the way the crow flies two miles from here, uh, and they have more of a hog problem. Uh, it seems the hogs seem to stay more in the open land where people have pastures and fields. Uh, but up here on the mountains, we we haven't had one hog come through here. We've had several black bears come through. About 20 miles from here, there's, there's uh, on the top of this mountain, but 20 miles south of here, well, I guess you'd say southeast or southwest, uh, they actually have a lot of elk. We don't have them here. I wish we did. I wish one would just stumble his ass over here. How far are you from Caddo? Oh, about five, uh, about four and a half, five, about five hours. Yeah, yeah, probably about four and a half. Depending on how many I've drank. If you want to come visit, We'll go hunting on the creek bottom, laying 300 acres. Hell yeah, y'all, y'all probably got a lot of turkeys over there. <laughs> Son of a gun, we're having big fun on the bayou. Yes, sir. <laughs> we gonna do get these onions and bell peppers, sweat it down. Go ahead and add some seasoning now that I've got them about, about half broke up. Is that Louisiana? I'll throw a little salt in here. Y'all got any arrowheads? I, I, you know, I believe I could find a damn Indian before I'd find an arrowhead. I've looked and I've gone out on the creeks and looked and I, I've never found an arrowhead or anything. But I know a lot of people around here find them all the time. Uh, I walked right over one about two weeks ago and the guy behind me picked it up and it was probably that long about that wide and I just don't have an eye for it I can't find it but I know they do find a lot of them around here hello from England and what are you cooking pork jambalaya pork and sausage and undo it jambalaya time to cook that rooster up yeah well, well, you just found an Indian right here. Yeah, see, I could find the Indian before I could find the arrowhead. <laughs> what you making, moonshine? No, it'd be a couple of different setups here if we are doing moonshine. Now, that might be part of it if we are doing moonshine, that old pot with the spigot on the bottom. Tell you 
We are in Arkansas. <laughs> On the live from Miami, Florida. We're at in Miami. My uh, daughter-in-law and granddaughter lives down there. How's the shroom hunting? Good. Good. Uh, we, we, we find a lot of morels. Which are real, really good. You know, this area is a, is a real hot spot for morel hunting. Uh, this year was a little bit weird because right about the time the morel was starting to get good, we had a damn uh, a hard freeze and it snowed a little bit and it kind of just changed everything up. But a lot of morels in this area. My daughter-in-law, she lives in uh around in the Kendall area. Say hi to my wife. I've been telling her about you. What's her name? What's her name? What you cooking? Pork with sausage and undoing jambalaya. <laughs> Her name's Angie. Hello, Angie. Welcome. I'm a city guy, but I'm country as well. You guys got in a place that I might never be. You guys got in a place I may not be allowed, never be allowed. Why is that? Everybody's allowed. Southwest Missouri, not far from the Arkansas line. Hey, you're not that far from us. Can y'all see my comments? What's his name? David. I may have, if I, it probably went by. I'm trying to keep up with his, trying to keep the phone still where we can get good connection which we've lost there we go hey ain't rooster tough meat gotta get better service we're trying well when you live out in these woods it's hard to get better service yeah i need to get a booster Like I said, maybe I can get to the point where maybe I can get out and do some cooking for some people where they've got good service. Y'all on the else. east? No, we're southwest. Uh, we're in the south, east, not on the coast. Maybe somebody will get me a spot to go cook for a bunch of people and we'll have good service and do a live there. I'm guessing he's saying that because he's black. No, bro, not everybody racist. We don't care what color you are. If you want to come eat, come eat. We don't mind at all. Just join. What are you guys doing? We're cooking a pork jambalaya with some smoked sausage and on doing. Right now we're getting our onions cooked down with some bell peppers, some garlic. Uh, here in just a little bit, they'll be about sweated out and Someone's... get a little color to them. And we'll add our meat back and let it all cook together for a little while. Got somebody from Alabama. Alabama. <laughs> so 
we welcome everybody. Australia. What are our winters like? Ah. Uh, well. Bring it. We're, we're right on that that level of. It's kind of hard to judge because one year you know you may have. You may have, you know, 10, 12, 14 inches of snow. Uh, some years you may get 12, 14 inches in a, in a day. It, it normally gets cold. Probably around Thanksgiving we'll start getting some cool fronts. And then it'll stay, you know, it'll stay to the point where you'll wear a hoodie or a jacket. And then it'll get real cold through, you know, say December, January, and February. That rooster's name's fixing to be dinner. But, uh, I mean, the winters are pretty cold. We don't get as much snow. Like I said, sometimes we do, sometimes we don't, but that's kind of a hit and miss. Like I said, you know, we, we actually got, uh, we actually got a little bit of snow and, and, you know, below, hell, I think we was in the damn single digits. <laughs> Just what, four, four or five weeks ago. Uh, so you never know around here, but the winters do get pretty cold. I'm Hispanic. I visited Tennessee two years ago. Very nice country folk out there. Had a great time. Well, my granddaughter's half Latino. No, she's not. Or she's Peruvian. Peruvian. I still <laughs> say Latino. Hispanic. Peruvian. Uh, I worked pipeline for 25 years. Most of the guys that I became very good friends with uh, were Hispanic. I I probably speak Spanish about as well as I do my French. I'm a redneck Puerto Rican. <laughs> That's a, I like that. You know, we, we all come from somewhere, and just where we're at today is what matters. My family is all from Butler, Tennessee. I live between Johnson City and Mountain City. We did a job up in Bristol, so I know exactly. Hispanic, Latino, same thing, all love. That's right, that's right. Yeah, I call it all the same because when you got a five-year-old that speaks English and Spanish, you talk about fuck a coon ass up. Especially when my English ain't real good and my French ain't neither and my Spanish is real fucked up. All right, well, you want to try to get a shot of this? We've got the onions. Pretty much. Get the service to hold up. Right, we're going to add the meat and the sausage and the undo it back in there. Okay. Gonna give that a little stir. Where are you good folks at in the deep south? I'm originally from around Baton Rouge. And he's originally from a little town called Mooreville in a Vols Parish. A little sprinkle of beer for the deglazing. Oh damn, that looks good. That looks really good. I need me some of that. I'm over here eating a protein bar. Love the apron. <laughs> I want one week with this man and his cookbook. <laughs> there ain't no cookbook. It's all, 
it does look good. I can smell it from here. West Texas by Midland, Texas. Oh yeah, that's definitely a Baton Rouge accent. <laughs> What time is it? Okay. Don't let that sweet accent boy fool you. She'd be hell too. I have a brother in Lafayette and a sister in St. Francisville. Damn, I got a sister that lives in San Francisville. And, and I got a nephew that lives in San Francisville. Are y'all in Arkansas? Yep. We're in North Arkansas. What is he cooking? We're transplants. Can you guys send me an apron that says this guy needs a beer? Yes, sir. Just message him and I'll get your information. Send me a message and we'll get the information. She can make it for you. She made this. She made all. She makes all kind of shit. I drive an old '70s van that came out of New Iberia. Old guy used it for his locksmith service. Oh, Chewing exactly. Copenhagen straight. My wife would probably want that van if she seen it. This dude is my favorite. Cheers. Thank you, sir. Or ma'am. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this town, but born in Texas, raised in Eunice, Louisiana, in Lake Charles, now living in Mississippi. Damn. Well, I know damn well at least. What do you guys do for AC? <laughs> Drive about 55. Does he like Western movies and has he seen oh, Lonesome Dove? Oh, I've seen Lonesome Dove probably. 25 times. Uh, I love all Western movies. I'm, we spent we spent days and days watching Western movies that night. But now I want to see, get back to your serious question about air conditioning. We do have electricity, and we do have air conditioning. Uh, Hi from Sweden. From Sweden? What? They're from Sweden. Sweden. Damn. I need some cheese. Don't they have good cheese over there? So they got Swiss cheese. Says you can't leave a message, have to be friends. Just friend him and he'll friend you back. He's and then you can already following me. I like just he tried to message. How many people are you feeding? Oh, we're going to probably feed four with this. And uh, we'll eat leftovers tomorrow. So we don't, we don't waste a whole lot. So whatever we can't eat today, we'll, we'll either eat tomorrow or we'll put it up and eat it the day after tomorrow. He ran... Ooh. He reminds me of Sai from Duck Dynasty. Oh, I've heard that so many times. What's your favorite gun? Woo! All of them. A clean one. I love all guns. My mo my favorite as far as all around. Uh, what part of Louisiana y'all from? A Vols Parish here. I'm, I'm originally from a Balls Parish. I was born and raised and lived in Mooreville, Louisiana for right at what, 40, 45 years? I've got family that lived in Mansura. Uh, I actually still have 25 acres in Plosherville. What's your gun of choice? Well, I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say you, you, you're talking more name brand because it depends. If I, I, I like a, in shotguns, I just like a, a 8.7 at Remington. Uh, they just seem to be 
dependable. I, I probably got a couple of them. And around here, I do I do a lot of trapping. Uh, I do carry a, a Henry 17. I, I do love the Henry. So I've got I've got a 44, a 17, a couple of 22s. Can you teach us how to make moonshine next, please? <laughs> I live in New Iberia. I can show you how to drink it. Uh, what's his name? Tommy. Uh, he said he lives in New Iberia. Do they still have poor boys open down there? I love going there to eat. Never had jambalaya. Lots of beer, but no jambalaya. Well, come on. I didn't hear the answer about your gun you like. We got the service is starting to act up. Give it. I mean, I, I like I said, I, it depends on what you, you know, what I'm using the gun for. I mean, I carry a, a Springfield uh, 1911. Uh, if I'm duck hunting or something, I use the 870 just a gun I like. If I'm running traps or lines or something out on my land or something, I, I carry, I normally carry a Henry 17. So, I mean, I, I don't know, like I said, you know, I love, I love all of them. Uh, I don't have a lot of, of bad things to say. I made a comment on a on a guy's post the other day about a Mossberg and <laughs> you know I don't have anything against Mossberg uh, I don't own a Mossberg and it, it you know so I, but I, I don't really have a favorite uh, I mean I like all of them as long as you keep them clean and as long as they function and work right uh, handguns I like Smith and Weston uh, it look like popcorn Sutton. Does your wife like her swing? Does her wife like what? Does your wife like her swing? No. Swing on the porch. Can you play a banjo for us? <laughs> your video with the tick ear bought me here. That was good to me. Well, I had to post that video like three times because twice at over 600,000 it got taken down uh, for hate speech. Somebody said, eat that noisy guy. Can we eat the rooster now? <laughs> Cook that chicken. Sure, I think you're an American badass. A young popcorn, I see it. You know, it, it, me mean, too, it was the ear. All them comments just tickle me because, you know, before I had TikTok, one of my favorite things to do was watch popcorn on on TV. And I mean, I never seen the resemblance or I never thought anything of it. And then every time I get on here, somebody throws that comment out. And then I go back and look at his videos and it just, it, it kills me to to see, you know, the way he looks and the way I act and do things. Hello from Echo, Alabama. If we lose service, just give us a second. It takes it just to come back. Hello from Australia. Just bought an M, just bought a Smith & Wesson M&P 15. Hell yeah. I love Smith & Wesson. I mean, I've, I've got a couple of Smith & Wesson. Uh, we are in North Arkansas, close to Branson. Are you answering a question or somebody? I'm that? answering it. Uh, I was going to say, hell, if you're that close, you might want to come eat. Where you find them overalls? I need a pair or two at the co-op. <laughs> <laughs> Is that an outhouse? <laughs> no, it's a smokehouse. Uh, outhouse is over there. We ain't going to take a picture of it. Blessings to you and your family. Thank you, thank you. Same to you. Just, just want to stop in and tell y'all, tell you all, you, tell you all, know you're amazing. Well, I, 
appreciate it. Hello from Missouri. He was a great part of American heritage. South Carolina and Georgia, Aurora, Colorado. I came to Ponca often to camp out. North Arkansas is beautiful. Morning from Kansas City, Missouri. Somebody said we're almost neighbors. Where are you from? You're living a very beautiful, happy day. You know what we do? We do live. I mean, I'm from the horrible state of New York. We do live a, a, a life we chose to live. Love your country accent. My kind of folks. How much property do you have? We have about 40 acres. I floated most of the buffalo. Ponca to Pruitt. Hey, the one that said he floated most of the buffalo. Come on back down here. Or up here, I don't know where you're from. But uh, come up here and let me know. I've been wanting to float the buffalo, but I want to do it in like a two day trip. And I need somebody that wants to do it with me. Get that sweetheart on camera. Don't be camera shot. Oh, Lord. Well, she is camera shy. She. You know, and I, I, I understand. I spent most of my life working. Backpack the trail also i spent most of my life working pipeline and i was normally in a boston position or a supervisor superintendent so i had to stand in front of people and confront people all the time and so this, this doesn't bother me to get in front of people and talk my wife on the other hand ask pop if we can go trapping for some coyotes hell yeah you got a place you got coyote problem what do you do to make money? I do work. Uh, we moved here. We, I took about a year and a half off, built built everything around. Uh, and then I did go to work, and I do work for a small contractor right here in town. Work, work five days a week. Well, I say that last week, we work, I worked about two days. But I do work right here in town for a contractor uh, running equipment doing whatever needed hey pops just got here welcome welcome broken monkey gaming we cooking a little no, he thought if you do any coyote hunt, he thought maybe that chicken might attract a few. Oh. Well, they, they did when we first moved here. Uh, when we first moved here, like I said, I took about a year and a half off building everything, and we got chickens, and we started having trouble with coyotes, fox, raccoons. <sighs> Cook down. Kind of just keeping this from sticking. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. We'll kind of let it cook down a little bit more and tenderize that meat. I apologize if we go in and out of service. Uh, I'm, I'm more amazed that we can even get service out here ever done any dutch oven cooking oh yeah yeah we do uh we cook on dutch oven i was actually considered doing a peach cobbler for dessert maybe next week we'll get it all ready but uh 
I ain't got enough people to eat this jambalaya, so I sure in the hell I ain't gonna cook no peach cobbler yet. Maybe if I could get a couple of y'all to come over, we could cook, cook more and... Howdy there, fella. Howdy. So does any, I mean, other than, I know one guy said he was a chef. Does anybody else enjoy cooking? Bag anybody? some up and I'll trade you for that apron. Do you play any instruments, like a guitar? No. I, I laughed a while ago when somebody said something about if I could play the banjo for them. And, uh, I've actually been looking to buy a banjo and learn how to play it. Just because I, I enjoy music, but I've never learned. I've worked all my life and never took the time uh, to learn to play any instruments. But I would love to learn to play the banjo. And the other instrument I love is the saxophone. Somebody said Guatemala. What did how do you put it? Guatemala style. I guess the cooking. I'm Ooh. actually working a bunch of Guatemala. I know your neighbors smell that good cooking. Where do we live? North Arkansas. I don't know if my neighbors smell this. Can you rap? <laughs> oh shit. Hell yeah, I can rap. Can you make southern I wrap, burritos? I wrap meat all the time after I butcher it. What are you cooking? Pork, cooking a pork jambalaya with sausage and uh, undoing. Right now we've got it. We're just gonna let it cook down and tenderize. Put this old lid on there. in there let it cook down dutch oven cooked chickens chuckers pheasants deer bear and elk say the first cuss word that comes to your mind what the fuck <laughs> i love hearing a banjo reminds me of my granddaddy Thank y'all. You, you know, it, it, it amazes me because, you know, we, I'm almost at 47,000 followers, which is in fucking same for me, thinking I live out here, and I just, just have fun with it, and to think that someone like me could even get that many people to be interested in in anything that I do. Uh, what are your ingredients? I've got a, a Boston butt that I've cut up. I've got andouille in it, and I've got a loaf of smoked sausage. Fixing to have a chicken or a rooster. But, uh, and then onions, bell peppers, garlic. Yeah. And, and Whatever seasoning you like. Y'all missed a chicken. I can hear the damn rooster. Yeah. We lost connection. Again, I apologize if we lose connection. Uh. We lost connection. Again, I apologize if we lose connection. Say we're out in the middle of nowhere. We're in the middle of nowhere. Can we see the moonshine still? <laughs> well, no, because I can promise you we ain't got service if we move them right here. Maybe we'll get it put together where maybe we can do something with it.
may have to let them go for a while so you can finish up. You can get back where you want to go. It's What are your favorite things to cook often? Uh, I love to cook just about anything. Uh, I love cooking anything on open fire. I mean, I don't know if I've got a favorite. Uh, I love jambalaya, I love cooking jambalaya, I love cooking stews, uh, I love cooking gumbo, frying fish. Oh, somebody did put on here fry fish. So, I've got six cups of rice, which we're going to add if you want to try. I don't know if you can keep serving. I won't. Do you make, do you ever make Brunswick stew? No. No, I haven't. What, so I, what I, time's it going to be ready? In about 45 minutes. So I've put, I put six cups of rice and 12 cups of water. Y'all got any trout where y'all live? Any tracks? Trout. Oh, trout. Yeah. Uh, believe it or not. Make some Zupa to make the potato. Oh, we had that the other night. Uh, believe it or not, about... 15 miles from here is the White River, which is right off of uh, Cotter, Arkansas, which is supposedly the trout capital of the world. So yeah, we've got a lot of trout in this area. <laughs> a lot of trout. Yeah, I cooked that Zupa, the, uh, what, two nights ago? Yeah. And we had some for leftovers last night. Yeah, there's not a whole lot we don't cook. Have you ever watched Cowboy Cook Ken, uh, Kent Rollins? No. No, I don't watch a whole lot of anything on TV. Uh... For the most part, I'm either outside working with my sawmill or working in my wood shop or cooking. I'm cooking, uh, somebody's cooking gumbo right now. Hell yeah, chicken and sausage or seafood? Hey buddy, there's my chicken. Which one you want? We you drive a, over here, you'll get a chicken and, go, and, and jambalaya. So they have a trout farm here in Oklahoma. Yeah, we like I said, we live probably about 20 miles from the White River, uh, which I know has got a lot of trout. We actually, when we first moved here, uh, we stayed on the White River for four or five months and uh I'd actually go fish I'd go trout fishing just about every day and there's big bit. He's making chicken and sausage. Chicken and sausage gumbo. There ain't nothing wrong with that. You putting okra in there? What do you guys think about COVID? I don't think about it at all. No, hell COVID ain't it ain't changed nothing for us. Uh, Where are we at? We're in Arkansas, North Arkansas. We haven't changed a thing. Nothing. Nothing really changed for us. I mean, other than social media seems to kind of went off on it. Yeah. If you get a chance, YouTubing. Do what? Th that guy Kent Rollins. If you get a chance. Cockle doodle do to you, chicky. <laughs> Is that a game chicken? Yeah. He's a, she's actually a pet. Yeah. We have one just like her, big bit, and we got little bit. 
we've got hand hand wise we've got about 40 hens that run around here uh the last couple of hatching we, we hadn't found out yet and plus we ended up with about seven eight roosters so here before long we're fixing to have a come to jesus meeting are y'all from louisiana yes originally yes Re yes Originally, we are both from Louisiana. We moved here about five years ago. We're in North Arkansas. Y'all got bees. No, and that is something that we're working on uh, getting pretty soon. OMG, he is an exact addition of my uncle. We're in Tennessee. I'm talking twins. Send us a picture. I'd like to see that. <laughs> or do, do a TikTok video. I love my country uh, people. F COVID. What are y'all cooking? Pork jambalaya with smoked sausage and on do it. LOL pet chickens. Good. I love you guys for your answer on COVID. Yeah, it hadn't, like I said, it hadn't really made a difference uh, in our lives. Uh, I guess the biggest thing, our granddaughter was actually staying with us when COVID first kind of got serious everywhere else, and we stayed out here, and she stayed out here with us, so she didn't really encounter anything different than normal life, just being out here. Uh, so no, it we really we really haven't had any kind of. Hello from Ireland. What part of Louisiana? I'm originally from around the Baton Rouge area, and he's from Mooreville, all just in a Vols Parish. You mean he's going to meet Jesus? I guess talking about one of the roosters. Me too, from New Iberia. The chicken's going to meet Jesus. Yeah, before it ain't going to be long. My best friend is from Louisiana, New Orleans. Boom. Several of them chickens are going to have to do something. Boone County, North Carolina. Do all your lumber. Wait. Did all your lumber you use to build come? Do all lumber you use to build come? Everything we've built out here has uh, down on this side of my property. That down on that side of the property, I've cleared about a, about an acre and a half. Uh, we're in the process of fencing it in, where we can maybe run a calf or two. Uh, most of those trees we've salvaged milled or cut for firewood uh, like I said earlier I do work for a small contractor here in town and we do clear some property from time to time and I'll get the opportunity to maybe bring some logs home and mill them up so everything on everything we've built here and everything that's here we've built we've milled on the sawmill uh, You know, we try not to buy any lumber. Every now and then we go yard sailing or go to some of these auctions. We lost connection. I can only hold my arm up so long. But I don't know if you heard my answer or not, but we do mill everything here there. inside at home, my wife and I, and everything we built been with that mill. Log we get, like I said, either off the property or people sometime will call us. Yeah, we know where Santa Monty is. Off the property or people sometime will call us. Yeah, we know where Santa Monty is. the Mississippi River uh, and if we lost service we apologize we're trying to find another spot to sit
but we we milled a lot of cypress in the past and when we moved here they've got a lot of black walnut a lot of cherry uh, a lot of hickory well well, well you lost service again when it gets back to good still just may have to get off and stuff i wish that were Well, I guess what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get off. Like I said, we're cooking cooking the rice. Uh, it'll be done here in probably another 30 minutes or so, and I'll do a video or something to follow up on it. And I appreciate everybody for getting on.